Hey guys, just forgot to mention in the video a couple of things. I'm shooting this with my brand new DJI Osmo Action camera. So far really liking it. It actually shoots video at 4K in HDR mode, which helped with the low lighting on this video. Another thing is I'm not sure if I really made the point in the video that this was all live. So if there were any sparks or smoke, we would have seen it all together. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. This is just a little teaser of what I hope is going to be a complete video or probably a series of videos on how I put all of this together and built the components. So thanks and enjoy. Hey guys, just want to give you a sneak peek of a little project that I've been working on. Um, it's based on something that, that's already out there, which is basically using the uh, Ego battery to charge your one wheel. But basically I wanted to make a portable unit that I could just throw in my backpack or bring along. This isn't meant to be a charge and ride. It is just meant to be a unit that can give you a charge if you're out trail riding and you might not have uh, you know, some place to plug in. So basically I 3D printed out uh, a unit that, that fits into the, the base of the Ego and it allows you to mount the MPT-7210A on it and then a basically a, a, an adapter to, to plug it in. So this is the first live test. So this is a prototype um, and hopefully everything's going to work out well. Um, so we've got uh, our one wheel here, we're at 90% charge so the the way this works it it's actually got adapters so it plugs straight in and then you you can plug your external cable in so it just it just basically slides into the battery and the way this the the way the solar charger works is you have your battery voltage you have your um, output voltage and your output current. Uh, based on what I've read, the uh, you recommended at, at 63 volts and 3 amps. That is the same output voltage as the one wheel charger. 63 volts and 3 amps. So uh, once you have the settings on the MPT uh, dialed in, you hit the OK button and it it ramps up to uh, its voltage and it gives you an indication when it is okay. You can see we have 62.98, 62.99 volts. And just to do a sanity check, um, basically the way the, the one wheel char uh, adapter works is pin one is ground and then actually for the, at least for the XR, pin two and pin three are the same and you can see here, oops, we have set it to uh, the right scale, you can see we have 62.8 volts across pin one and two, and then 62.8 volts across pin one and three. So what we're gonna see here live right now is um, a test of this system. So we have the, the one wheel app open. We are dialed in at 
62 volts and we're going to plug the, the one wheel in and you can see that the status indicates that it's charging it's got uh, 30 25 it's it's charging pretty quickly and if we look at the battery we see that uh, we're delivering exactly 63 volts and we're at 2.28 this is two and a quarter amps 140 watts um, and you can see our battery voltage is already starting to, to visibly drop from I think I think we started around 56 or 57 volts um, but um, and it, that's interesting uh, we're actually starting to get a, a charge indicator on this battery uh, on the, the solar charger controller so we are at 91% uh, and charging so first field test first prototype test seems to be a success I, I have to admit I was a bit nervous trying this for the first time uh, it's not something that I want to have to send back to one wheel to have repaired if I fried the control board so right now we're at 92 percent and I guess if you looked at that graphic there on the solar charger that that would essentially represent 92 percent and again it does it does seem to be charging I'm going to disconnect the charger so now we've gone down to zero out output um, I'm going to turn the one wheel on and just ensure that uh, that we have connected so you can see we've got the the 92 percent charge um, and we can run so all evidence would point to a first successful uh, field trial. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to do more videos on this. I'm going, this is just the, the first prototype of, of this. Um, I've already reprinted this. I've come up with some new mechanical uh, connectors, and so I'm going to do uh, a whole video on actually building this. So, Hope you found this interesting. Um, like the video, subscribe to the channel so you can get notified when I do actually build the, the final complete setup. And uh, thanks, out.